an arcane sword discovered long ago by a Ludwig. When blue midnight dances around the sword and it channels the abyssal cosmos, its great blade will hurl a shadowy light wave. The holy moonlight sword is synonymous with Ludwig, the holy blade, but few have ever set eyes on the great blade, and whatever guidance it has to offer, it seems to be of a very private, elusive sort. Hey guys, that was of course the lore for the Holy Moonlight Sword, which is the sword that I'm going to be showing off today. I'm going to show you basically all the moves that it has. It is obtained by defeating Ludwig, the Accursed's second form, his holy blade, sorry, holy blade form, and uh, it, strength and arcane are what it scales in. I have it at plus nine, and that's B in strength and A in arcane. At plus ten, it doesn't change, so it stays at that. Uh, it can't, you can't use um, an empty phantasm shell or anything to infuse it because it's already arcane. Now, let's just get into the moose for it. It has a regular R1 slash attack, which is just horizontal slashes back and forth. And it has an R2 charge up attack, which you can either just press or hold it down for a much stronger attack. It is capable of a backstab. The back step R1 is a quick downward smash. You can also do a back step R2, which is an uppercut. It's very good for cleaving foes, armor, or if they have shields or anything like that, and then following it up with an R1. The old, sorry, rolling R1 is a horizontal slash across, and you can do a rolling R2, which is a thrust, although again, if you were to hold it down, it's basically just the regular R2. If you infuse it, it will, like all the other weapons in Bloodborne, it has a transformational state, although it doesn't change into an entirely different weapon, just a broader version of a greatsword. But we won't do that yet. The uh, jump R2 is a downward smash, similar to the backstep R1. Significantly more stronger, or stronger though. Uh, the running R1 is a quick charge up slash horizontal. And the running R2 is a uh, upward slash. I think it's pretty much just the R2 attack. If you just press it though, it does that. It kind of looks like it curves up a little bit. It seems a little different than the R2. Maybe not. Anyways, after infusing it, you will start uh, being able to do your ranged attacks because that is one of the greatest benefits of this weapon is that it has really good ranged capabilities which is something very good for Bloodborne, particularly for this DLC as it has been quite punishing. If you just press R2, it will do a horizontal slash across like that and it uses arcane energy as well as a quicksilver bullet. I think it's called a light wave attack according to the lore. If you hold down R2, it won't do horizontal, it would do a diagonal. And this is really good and can be used to backstab uh, enemies as well. The backstab R1 is a downward smash attack. And it has a cool little reflection effect or uh, effect on the ground glowing effects. Uh, the backstep R2 is an upward uppercut uh, cleaving attack like the other one um, when it's not infused. However, since it's infused it does more damage and it uses the quicksilver bullets. The jumping R2 is a very powerful smash down attack. The running R1 is the same kind of wind up, although it seems a little slower than the original wind up. Uh, when it's not infused. And that's just a horizontal slash. The running R2 is a very powerful smash down attack. Reminds me of something out of Final Fantasy, or perhaps a uh, cloud with the buster sword. And now for the most important moves, which I call the essential hidden moves, are the transformation moves in this uh, 
for this particular weapon. And they're very good both for PvE and PvP. I think they're more useful in PvP as they are something that is capable of catching an enemy off guard. And uh, I don't, I haven't seen too many videos talking about how these hidden moves actually work. So that's part of what the video is about. And the really, really nice thing about these hidden moves is that they are allowing you to use arcane uh, damage at attacks with the light wave. However, they do not use a quicksilver bullet at all. And they are, you can use them in multiple different ways. So before I do that though, I'll just do the R1 L into L1, which is a transformational attack, which infuses a weapon with arcane and then smashes. Now I watched a PvP skills video and I think he had said that he thought that the arcane version of the weapon when it's infused actually scales the strength. So I'm not entirely sure if that's the case or not, but that seems like maybe that is. Alright, so then the R1 into L1, and there is the first hidden move. As you can see, it does a very powerful arcane blast, and you're capable of doing it without losing any quicksilver bullets whatsoever. Uh, you can do this, let me just infuse it real quick. There's the transformation from the back step. Uh, you can go ahead and just... Sorry. Do that. So you can do like a smash down attack with R1 and then take the infusion and remove it, doing a very powerful blast in the process. And again, not a single quicksilver bullet. As you can see, I'm sure you can um, see from this that this would be very, very useful. And uh, before I forget, there is an L2 attack, of course, for the infused version of the Holy Moonlight Sword, so I'll do that real quick. If you just press it, it does a quick thrusting attack. If you hold it down, it's a much more powerful thrusting attack. I don't believe this can be used for backstabs. I honestly haven't tried it. Maybe? Not sure. Back to these uh, removal of the infusion. And again, that does take quick silver bullets. I think it takes just one as well. This particular move, though, as I showed, can be done as a backstab. You can do that smash down attack into the, um, sorry, into a smash down with the arcane energy attack using L1 right after the R2 from, after the back step. You can do a back step R2, oops, sorry, back step R2 into an L1 like that, but you can also do a back step L R2 into that. As you can see, it seems very powerful. It definitely is, especially in PvP, and it definitely can catch people off guard. Um, that's pretty much all of the moves. However, I'll also show you that this can be done with a roll as well. And pretty much every uh, attack that you do can eventually have that used as a final. So that can definitely catch people off guard. And it's kind of like the little uh, trick up your sleeve that you have. Now I'm going to get rid of the infused energy real quick by wasting the uh, quicksilver bullets. Again, if you just press R2, it does that horizontal. If you hold it down, it does the diagonal. And then of course you have a jumping R2 as well. And the reason I'm going to get rid of it is because if you run out of quicksilver bullets in a fight, either PvP or PvE, I will be able to show you that you can not only still use those hidden moves, but you can still use all of your R2s and L2s pretty effectively, although they don't have the arcane energy, and therefore, if it's scaling in strength, uh, they don't scale in strength. I'm not sure, though. Currently, I have, real quick, I'll show you, I have mine, uh, my stats, uh, because I wanted to be able to use the Rikujo and also the Blood Ladder, I had to use extra points into both Blood Tinge and Skill, so I did have to level up my character well past 100, up to 114, that's mainly just to use those abilities. Or, sorry, those weapons. So I currently have strength 50 and my arcane 31. But if you add higher stats, I imagine the weapon be even more powerful. Now that I've run out of energy, here's the R2. Of course, I'm running R2, which is now a very powerful smash down attack that doesn't use any quicksilver bullets. Running R1, which never used quicksilver bullets. Oh, sorry. And it's just that, uh, kind of like a baseball bat attack. Uh, there's no running L1 transformational attack. That would be really cool if there was, but it's not available, so can't do it. 
Um, and the other thing you can do, of course, is uh, an L2. And you're not using any uh, Quicksilver bullets because you don't have any. But, as I said before, you can do rolling into this. Um, you can do transformation like this. Oops. Uh, sometimes it's a little tricky to get the L1 in there. But anyways, you can, as I showed you before, do that into an L1. I don't know how I just did that. It should have smashed down, but whatever. Um, and, and like I said, a rolling one. Um, there's no jumping one. Like, if you try to jump in front of it, it's not going to do anything for you. Anyways, that's pretty much the video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, if you enjoy this video and other videos that I've done. And for more Bloodborne, The Old Hunters, and other gaming content. As well as please comment and like the video if you liked it and if you learned something new. If you didn't like the video or you didn't learn anything new, then just go ahead and dislike the video. Thanks again for watching. And the rest of the video is just going to be showing off the weapon in combat in PvE. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Alright, bye bye.
ads, we had items for your hands. But know this, in the end, your efforts will only prove futile.